Hey guys, it's Sabrina again, and we're going to go over one of the many ways that you can make plug suit armor today. Let's get started with the materials I used. For these particular pieces of armor, I decided to use Warbla, but you may decide to use something else depending on how you want your armor to fit and what size it is. I wanted these armor pieces to look sort of shiny and smooth, so I decided to use Mod Podge as my primer. I of course used a paintbrush to paint on my primer. And since the Mod Podge leaves streaks when painted on, I'm going to use 400 grit sandpaper to make it smooth. I also needed water because the best way to sand Mod Podge down is using wet sandpaper. And that's all you need to prime those armor pieces, so let's get started. First, I'm going to paint a thin layer of Mod Podge. The reason why we have to prime Warbla in the first place is because the surface of Warbla is kind of grainy and rough, so it doesn't look very nice if you just paint directly. And primer also helps paint last longer. While I wait for the Mod Podge to dry, I'm going to cut some strips of sandpaper. You'll know when the Mod Podge is dry when it's all clear, and it should leave some streaks on, so next we're going to sand it down. Wet sanding leaves some residue on the armor, so I like to wipe it down with a damp cloth. And get back to sanding! This part can be pretty tedious, so make sure you have Netflix or something to watch while you're doing this. In order to achieve a really nice and evenly smooth surface, you're going to want at least 5 layers of Mod Podge. And don't forget to sand down each layer before adding a new one. Your finished product should be smooth without any streak marks. Time for the best part, spray painting! Alright, now I'm back with my spray painted armor pieces and they're nice and glossy. Out of preference, I like to let my stuff dry overnight before I do anything else with them. Next, we have to attach the armor to the suit. You can see here I have velcro on my suit for where I want to attach my pieces of armor. Here are some of the pieces I've made detachable from my suit. But, of course, there are other alternatives to velcro like snaps or magnets. And there you have it guys! That's one of the ways that you can make armor for your plug suit. Good luck crafting and I'll see you next time!